your eyewitness weather forecast. Well, good morning. It is a much more mild start to our Wednesday as we're headed out the door and ahead of a cold front today. We are going to see some more cloud cover build in and even a passing shower as we go through this afternoon. So let's keep the umbrella handy, but let's get you out the door this morning with the temperatures. Mount Pocono at 53, Pottsville at 50, Sealands Grove 47, Hazleton at 55. And remember this time yesterday, there were spots waking up in the 30s. So a big rebound, a little bit more of a comfortable start as we're headed out the door this morning and as the kids are getting ready to go to the bus stop. There is this weak storm system up to our north and west. It's a quick moving one which will increase the cloud cover through the rest of our day and also swing in a, a few showers as we go right into our afternoon. So any rainfall we can get obviously is good rainfall. It's not now though. It'll come through midday today. We'll time it out in just a minute here, but the commuter forecast is looking like a good one. We do not have that dense fog that we had through yesterday. So as we're leaving this morning, there's no major weather headaches and a little bit more comfortable as well. Moving into the afternoon, it stays nice and mild and above average. We'll make it to the upper 60s and lower 70s for today. The average high comes in right around the mid 60s. So everybody above average again, but there is a cool down coming our way as we get ready to end this week. But moving into our afternoon, the wind is going to pick up quite a bit to a good 10, 20, even up to 25 miles per hour. That is sustained and not factoring in that it will be a gusty wind. So let's take a look at what happens. And really, right as we get into the afternoon, take a look. We're seeing wind gusts up to 30 and even 40 miles per hour in a few isolated spots today. Some of those higher elevations, the wind could occasionally even gust up near 50 miles per hour, but that will continue right through the middle of our afternoon going all the way into this evening. And then on top of that, we have a few showers that we need to talk about. Those will start to move into our northern tier right around that lunch shower, then just continue to drift a little farther south as we go through midday. So a few showers, mainly north of Interstate 80. It does look like south of 80. Things will be much more isolated, but we do see more cloud cover. And then really on top of that, all of this does taper off as we get into this evening and overnight tonight. So here's your eyewitness weather forecast 72 for the high today. More clouds mixing in along with a shower as well. The wind really picking up this afternoon, 10, 20 miles per hour gusting up to and maybe even over 40 miles per hour in some spots this afternoon. We'll drop down to 48 tonight, 60 tomorrow, much cooler and windy clouds and sun mix. Friday, there's more sun at 66. Saturday does not look like a bad day at 76. Just a sneaky, very late day shower or overnight shower on Saturday. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, that's the rough timing, and I mean rough timing of the remnants of what is Hurricane Delta right now. So end of this weekend, early next week, we're expecting some change in the forecast. You'll want to check back for updates. And we can always...